And secondly, in that union with Christ, we are also called to build together, to pool our resources together, and all our talents, all our resources together, um, to build a communion, a community of love, visible, tangible, so that people say, what? These people. We are supposed to get to bear witness for Christ in that way. We are the light of the world. But we are not the light of the world if people don't see in us that there is a light in us. That there is a light of love in us. Why do you think that people kept flocking to the early church in, for 250 years in spite of the bitterest persecutions? And many of them died because they became Christians. Or they were at least ostracized. They were uh, banished. They were discriminated at. Why do did these people, for heaven's sake, want to join Christianity? What was there so attractive in it? I, some say, oh, maybe because of the miracles. Oh, well, I think the miracles, there were miracles, but I don't think there were so many. Or some say, because of the preaching of the apostles. Well, I don't know whether they are all so terribly good in preaching. We have only a few letters from St. Peter, and Jude has one letter, a small one, and we have a few letters of St. Paul, was the most talkative one. But way further, we don't know very much of their preaching also. I don't believe that was the reason. The ultimate reason why people kept flocking to the Catholic Church in spite of that misery of persecution that lasted for 250 years was they saw love. Love in practice. Look how they love one another. What a beauty. They didn't have anything to work with actually. No economical power. They didn't have a sound system. They didn't have a choir, maybe, to sing or to make themselves uh, attractive. They didn't have big cathedrals and churches as we have now. Uh, they didn't have professors and, 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 and high society characters, especially not at the beginning. They were, generally speaking, without any tool. I'm not saying that we should not use all tools, but they were without any tool. They didn't have any PIE, by the way, not any, not any uh, whatever we have, alpha or what. They just loved one another. Oh, look how they love one another, the pagan said. And just the last moment, the last thing. When I say love, I don't mean sentimentality. Because I very often have the feeling that people come to me with the idea love has always to be sentimental. You know, I don't love if I cannot cry. You know, I don't love if I don't have a warm feeling. Now, I tell you a hundred times, there are moments that I am very fed up. But I know that the love of Christ tells me, go on boy, commit yourself to these people. They are worth it. I love them. And I expect you not to leave your post. And every time when I hear people say in marriage, because I have a lot of things to do with that or so, and they say, I have lost my feelings. I go for a divorce. I say, you make sure that you get your feelings back. Because it is not just only feeling. It is a commitment. A deep, deep commitment to stand for one another. For the better and the worse. In good times and the bad times. Until death will part us. And then we go to heaven and everything will be easy. Dear friends, let us ask 
that our church will recover that original fire. We are on the way to Pentecost and I'm sure we need him also, the Holy Spirit, to get back that fire. That we may recover with his help that fire that will give us the feeling we cannot just only leave the church as it is at the moment. We must make a stand. I, I had a couple of days ago, I found this, a song which I very much love. It is a song for men. There are so few men actually in our Catholic Church, relatively speaking. Uh, I find myself thinking, where are the men? They are sitting in the football stadium, uh, yelling away. But if you see them in the church, they are like mouse. Where are the men? Where do you stand, men? Rise up, O oh men of God! Be done with lesser things. I don't know how the song goes any further, it's a pity, but it's a beautiful song for me. We need more power. We need more strength. We need more zeal. We need more courage, we need more intelligence, not for how to make computers, but how to make the kingdom of God. We need more humility, we need more willingness to serve. That's what we need. Stand up, O oh man of God, be done with lesser things. Your football stadium, which is basically, what is it? What is it? It is just a football which is going to a goal. Is that your life? Is there not more to be said about your life than that? Is there not more to be said about our life as mankind? Be done with lesser things. Okay. From time to time, a recreational moment, I am not against it, but let it be only a moment. And let the main trust of our life be the building of the kingdom of the civilization of love so that the world, the pagans may see that the God of Jesus is the God of love and that this God of love is the salvation of the world.